In this video, we're going to talk about some things to be excited about with the new asteroid bases as well as contested zones in Pyro. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the trade cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So I'm super stoked with the latest Inside Star Citizen. We've gotten some more information as to what we can expect in Pyro uh, in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. One of the features uh, that they spoke about is contested zones. Now, these zones will be uh, locations you'll find within the space stations. They didn't mention that there is 12 of them. And um, so these zones are going to be PVE as well as PVP zones. And uh, they're very exciting. So now I'll take you back to when I did a, a play session during the pyro play test when we, the one we had at the end of the year last year and how intense uh, a mission that we took me and a few of my org mates took um, in one of these hangars where you would get a mission to go eliminate some of the npcs within that hangar and these locations can also be infiltrated by other players anybody can just go into these hangars so while we were fighting the npcs first and foremost the npcs were very dangerous they were very aggressive and uh, it was just a an exciting moment for us. But in the midst of doing that, another player showed up and we didn't know and started attacking us. And it was a super exciting moment for us. We had to track him down and take him up before he escaped. And so that is a snapshot of what the kind of gameplay we can expect in these contested zones. It's just that these are zones that everybody's going to know about and how to get there and what to expect there. Reason why we should go there and continue to go there are rewards. Um, so they mentioned that we're going to, uh, there are going to be rewards that are going to be worthwhile. So the question is, are they really worthwhile? We'll have to find out because as of late, when it comes to Wake of Disaster, when it comes to um, the other uh, like SPK type missions, uh, those kinds of missions, the rewards haven't been too great. It's usually monetary which we really don't care about because the only thing we buy is ships and these are ships we've already flown. So with 4.0 with these contested zones, I really want the rewards to be worthwhile. For example, do not sell night vision goggles in stores, make us find them. And um, hopefully there are tiers of uh, these night vision goggles and the higher, make the higher tier ones, the, the really nice ones, uh, you can only get them in contested zones at the probably the highest or the, the hardest um, uh, location to infiltrate. So rewards like that um, will make things worthwhile. Uh, you know, that's just an example. Um, hopefully they have something better than that. Um, you know, uh, hopefully maybe like little key cards, right? For example, a key card that will give you uh, access to a unique skin or paints you can put on your ship and it, you need that physical key card in your inventory and you need to escape that contested zone um, with it in order to successfully have it you take it to a store and you can apply it to your ship and nobody else and it, it's it's a skin that it's unique in the game you can't get it in store these are things that will make uh things like that very excited so nonetheless i'm super excited for this uh mission type and um, I cannot wait until we get our hands on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. The next thing that they spoke about was asteroid bases, right? So reason why I'm excited about this are these are also um, procedurally generated locations where we can go, where there are places, uh, these places where we can also investigate and um, probably have to clear our NPCs, um, infestations and, and things like that and get uh rewards that are worthwhile so the only way these things can be worthwhile is to for cig to add actual unique rewards reason why we should keep going back and doing these things secondly make them challenging enough for bigger groups you know i don't want to be going in there with a, a a five man and it's it's too easy for us you know make it challenging as well as well as make the rewards much more worthwhile so these are things that, that i'm really excited about um nonetheless pyro looks beautiful 
the uh the lighting the the space stations that they showcased are awesome if you haven't seen this uh inside star system video i'm gonna keep a link of it in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one